We'll now kneel for our moment of silence. House Democrats took a knee in remembrance of George Floyd and others killed by police before unveiling sweeping reform legislation they're calling the Justice in Policing Act. In the immediate, it bans chokeholds by police, limits the transfer of military equipment to departments, requires body cameras, stops no-knock warrants, makes lynching a federal crime, and ends qualified immunity, which protects officers from civil court cases. Long term, the Policing Act calls for better data collection, a national use of force standard, encourages independent investigation, seeks to enhance pattern and practice investigations of departments, and offers grants to community-based organizations doing police reform work. Millions of Americans of all ages, religious and racial backgrounds, are standing up in nonviolent protest, has made this moment possible. But with President Trump signaling his opposition to many of the proposals, much of the near-term change across the country will come locally. Our commitment is to end our city's toxic relationship with the Minneapolis Police Department to end policing as we know it. Over the weekend in Minneapolis, a veto-proof majority of the city council said they would begin the process of completely rebuilding their police department. It's time for us to act, not just talk. Meanwhile, Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti and other local officials have proposed slashing the LAPD's budget by 150 million, or roughly 8%. Also, the LAPD will stop adding names to the state gang database, and an independent prosecutor would handle all police misconduct cases. But some of the quickest action nationally could actually come from New York State. New York State will take this legislative action, and I hope it then becomes a model for other states to follow. This week, state lawmakers are poised to pass Governor Cuomo's Say Their Name agenda, which includes reforming of the law known as 50A to make police officer records easier to access. There'd be a ban on chokeholds and criminalizing of race-based false 911 calls. And the attorney general would be made to investigate all killings of unarmed people by police, though some, like Brooklyn Assemblyman Charles Barron, say New York should go further. If they can do it in Minneapolis, we can do it in New York City. The New York state legislation actually includes 10 bills and has other things like enhanced data collection, rules about medical attention while in custody, and rules about body cameras. In Brooklyn, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.